Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number one. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for a new series. It is episode one today. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. This is Forza Motorsport 4. Um, this is going to be one hell of an experience because I'm so, so excited for this game. Obviously, we've got a lot of locked icons and they're all over the place. They're a jumbled mess. But these should very quickly unlock once we start getting levels. Which, speaking of unlocking and getting levels, first of all, we need to actually take part in an event. So we're going to be taking part in the City Car Open for now. We may be able to squeeze two of these championships in an episode, depending on how long these races are. Um, I'm, I'm hoping we can, but it all depends. We're going to start off with the Ladera Test Track, then Sedona Raceway, Sunset Peninsula, Maple Valley Raceway, and then Hockenheim, which I believe is a new one for this game. So let's get started. All right, it is time for Forza Motorsport 4. I almost said three there. I've really gotten into the habit of it. Probably because this is the third attempt of actually recording this one. Oh no, I've got the controller mappings the wrong way around. Technically speaking, I've already gotten the uh, first achievement. Because I passed the car. I got a perfect turn achievement as well. So I've got the uh, nice pass. The perfect turn achievement. I like the fact that it gives you ratings on how good your turns are and how good your passes are as well. Because uh, sometimes you need a little bit of coaching. Somebody to tell you, oh yeah, that was shit, or oh yeah, that was great. The little Citroen. The Citroen that could. Citroen. Creative technology. Not bad. See, one of the cool things about uh, Forza Motorsport is the fact that when you level up, you actually get a choice of vehicle. So you can actually pick what car you want. Which I think is pretty good. Obviously, in Motorsport... I would say Motorsport 5, they added... No. Yeah. I find Motorsport 7 was a very strange reward system. But it worked. <clears throat> Motorsport 6 was just the wheel spins. And it gave you a Bugatti within the first, like, five minutes. New badge and title unlocked. Curves ahead. Fair enough. Well, that was a good race. 
I got Citroen Fan Badge, whatever that means. And we're also uh, Citroen Affinity Level 1. So our affinity with Citroen has reached Level 1. Citroen has sent you a 1,000 credit bonus and all performance parts from Citroen are 25% off already. Wow. Stuff gets really cheap in this game really quick. Here we go, the race is ready. Race number two. The second race at Fulton Motorsport 4. And we're off, Sedona Raceway. In the little Citroen. Ah, I've still forgotten to do the uh, controller mapping. Oh well, shouldn't take too long. We're gonna pass. I've passed. Now, here's the thing that I'm finding a little more enjoyable about Motorsport 4 already. Is that AI seems to be competent but easy to deal with. Last time I tasted it, it tasted like I improved. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> but now, how are you doing, Alex? Hopefully you're having a good day. Citroen. The little Citroen that could. Beep beep. Didn't have work till 2 a.m. on Sunday. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I take that. I finished work at 1 a.m. this morning. And then started work at 10 a.m. this morning. <laughs> so, uh, that was a fun... It's been a fun day. I am shattered. I am currently fueled by Rustler Burgers and... Energy drink. Caffeine. Beyond that, clueless. So... good start so far. Obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of Top Gear sponsorships on this, because Forza had such a massive collaboration with Top Gear, which I think was the right move for this game, because it made this game so much more enjoyable. I think this was the peak of Forza Motorsport. Hammond! Hammond, you blithering idiot! <laughs> Clarkson! I fucking love the all all of them. They're so good. Obviously, this game is running... I, I'm not sure whether it runs at 720p or 1080p. I know there are some games that run at 1080p on this. I'd be very upset if this isn't running 1080p. we got driver level 1. Whoop, whoop. In recognition of your excellent performance, you've been awarded with your choice of several cars. So for anyone who hasn't played Forza Motorsport 4, well we basically done. get a choice of cars. Driver level. Why am I a Peugeot? You're not a Peugeot, cars. you're a Golf. Keep racing to continue your progress and earn additional vehicles. Okay, I don't care. Uh, so we actually get a choice of a vehicle now. Um, to be honest, there's quite a large selection. We've obviously got the Yaris. I, I'm thinking as we've got a French car, so European, I'm thinking of going for either a Japanese or a an American brand. So, for me, I think I'm going to go for the Suzuki SX4 Sportback. 
Because that gives us opportunity for Japanese events. So we'll go for that one. And it's a lovely, lovely looking car as well. Um, I'm going to stick with it in red for this one. Alright, here we go. This is it. I love the fact that you get to see the car's interior. It definitely hypes you up for a race. Fade away. Beep beep. I'm coming through. Get out me wee. Oh, this game, I don't know what this is. It looks like Forza 3. Well, you are wrong, my friend. Black Holes and Revelations. That's such a good song. I just want to... Oh yeah, I need to give Kodo a thingy. Kodo has joined the stream on the first day of having all the stuff, so he gets a Focus RS gifted to him. The song's called Star- I know the song's called Starlight. It's actually- the song is basically exactly the same as, um, what is it? The background music for one of the stages in Astro's Playroom. For joining the stream. It's the stream avatars, so it's a little bit of customization for everyone who watches. It's a great way for um, interactivity and whatnot. I'm going to set up some things, some other little things as well, like being able to attack people. Um, so you can crash into other cars and whatnot. No, not an actual Forza. What do you think? <laughs> it's street, stream avatars. These stream avatars are so cool, though. I love them. So far, there's seven cars. But I'm thinking of getting... Uh, well, obviously, I'm going to be putting some more ones in. But I need a good list of cars. I appreciate it, Kodo. Thank you very much, man. Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. Well, there's our official first rewind. A Forza Motorsport 4. And it only took three races. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, not bad. But uh, what I am going to do very soon... We got another car. Lovely, I'll take it. What I am going to do very soon is uh, change my button mappings because I don't like these. I don't like using X and B to shift. So uh, this is ready to tune category. We got a choice of all sorts of different cars here. Um, I'm gonna go for the Golf GTI. I think it's quite a nice, neat looking car. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna take it in the green too. All right, I've actually got a working controller scheme, controller buttons, whatever you want to call it. So. <laughs> Ah, oh, I press A and it shifts up. Oh, it's so good. And now if I press B... Handbrake! Skirt! <laughs> That's how it should be. X to shift down, A to shift up, and B for handbrake. Or square to shift down, X to shift up, circle for handbrake. 
if you're on PlayStation. Which technically I am, because uh, I'm using a PlayStation controller to play this. No, I'm not. I'm not emulating, before anyone asks. I am genuinely playing this. An Xbox 360. I'm on an Xbox 360 system with a PS5 controller. Because it just feels so much better in my hands than a 360 controller. Personal preference. At the end of the day. I'm having the absolute arse off of this car right now. That was a quick race. I was over and done with like that. Right, this is the final race in this championship. Lovely jubbly. I don't know whether this game is going to be longer. There are moments of it where I look at this game and I'm like, wow, this is going to be extremely long. But then there are also moments where I look at this game and I'm like, this seems ridiculously short. Like, this section in the middle, there's a lot of five race championships with a couple of seven race championships. Oh gosh. I didn't even realize this was a section on this track, that you could turn that early. Okay, interesting. Gosh, this car's so slow. I love the damage model of this game, though. It is a million times better than the damage model of any other Forza game I've seen. Obviously, this is the interior camera. It's a little bit better than the last game because there's actual proper, like, interior mapping. So. Because you're my lifeline.
New badge and title, turn and burn. What does that even mean? Something about tires, maybe? I don't know, telemetry is still the same button, so. Lovely, I will take that, and I believe we got another level. Uh, we've got 4,000 credits, and all performance parts are 75% off. Wow, okay. Nice, cheap, and cheerful. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.